Welcome to the Daily Word with Pulaski Heights United Methodist Church. My name is Ellen Rowland and I'm the Minister to Youth and Families. And today you are faithfully watching on a Saturday, March 25th, and our Bible reading today is from Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel of all, its in, all of its iniquities. The verse that repeats itself, so few of our verses, even in poetry, in the Psalms, repeat themselves quite like this. More than those who watch for the morning. More than those who watch for the morning. And when we think about Lent, we start to think about what this season means to us as it starts to draw towards its end. When I have students that come to sit in my office to talk about grief, to talk about someone in their life that's died, a lot of times what they say is, I just really want everything to go back to normal. I really just want to go to school. I really just want to not carry this anymore. And I want this to all go back to normal. And we all do this. We say we want our life to move along even if we have grief that occurs in our life. But Lent is kind of this beautiful moment for us as the church where we get to interrupt the force with which we have to go back to daily programming to say, what is dark? What is heavy? What has changed? What do we miss? Who do we miss? Because even when the funeral is over or the change happens or we are alone and we say, no one wants to hear about this anymore. God does. God knows. And so your invitation today is that if you're carrying around something heavy, that you take a moment to pause with it and allow it to just be as heavy as it is and let God in who waits with us for the morning. Thanks be to God. We hope to see you tomorrow for more Daily Word.